¿Sí me nombres? One, two, four. Legs <laughs> lingo. One, two, four. <laughs> And welcome to the 14th episode of the Troll Stomp Cast, Level 4, Part 1, Dungeon the First. Today's episode is going to be about Dungeon Crawler. Ice Dungeon. Ice Dungeon. Level 4. Level 4. Talking about comic books and things of that nature. Uh, so let's start off the podcast with how we usually do. What games have you been playing this week, Lex Lingo? I don't play games. <laughs> I live life. Can I get the mic so I can make my voice sound as deep as humanly possible? Yeah. <laughs> um. I play. So, Happy Wars? No, I, I don't play Happy Wars. Much, uh, you Happy play Wars ha- is the best <laughs> game there's ever been, and it's freemium. So, play. I'm playing WWE 13, making Naruto Ninjas, and Happy Wars. It's just been hella Happy Wars. <laughs> Lots Xbox Live, games. Arcade oh, Downloads. I've been fucking with that Anarchy Reigns. That game is fucking fresh. It's like a brawler forever. Because there's no point to anything. You're just hitting stuff until you have enough points until the level unlocks where you hit more stuff. That sounds like the game. Of games. Elliot, what One have you been four. playing? <laughs> uh, got into Happy Wars. Yeah. And we're playing some Never Dead. That game is also really filthy. And made by the same people as Anarchy Reigns. Oh, really? Oh, yes. There you go. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Metal Gear Rising this week. The game is filthy. I've been chopping things up. You can watch that on my live stream, twitch.com slash fattowel124. Twitch.tv slash fattowel124. That's what it is. How much can I swear on this? As much as you want. Bitch! <laughs> throw more bitches on there than I did. I wanna... Okay. Good, so yeah, feel knowledge. free. You can swear. What? It has on our iTunes explicit content. Yes. <sighs> so feel free to express your opinion. Yeah, so Metal Gear Rising, where they say fuck all the time in that game. It's kind of nice, Metal Gear, with the use of fuck. Uh, I've been playing Happy Ryan Wars. the most terrible voice that has ever existed, it's, though. It's because they just kept the guy th- since, like, the second game. <laughs> Good and, idea. I mean, what are you going to do? Yeah. Uh, then, I've all, Happy Wars, I've also been playing um, Paper Mario Sticker Star for DS. I just picked up my copy of Fire Emblem for the 3DS. You gazed upon that with your... It was beautiful. It, it, was, it was beautiful. It was the best thing I've ever seen in my whole life, and I only watched the intro movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super stoked to play more of that game. It just It was so three-dimensional and clean. And I can see why they're sold out of physical copies in, like, every store. They under-pressed copies, and so, like, now you can really only get them from the Nintendo store right now. You can still download the game digitally, but... Just Ooh, you can break the news here first that everybody who made that game is super racist because you can only be racist white. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you cannot change the skin color of your main character. It's it's kind of whack. Only pasty white, <laughs> and it's not even like white people white. It's like trash can bucket white. <laughs> it's just white white. Terrible. Michael Jackson bleach white. I I see that. All right, so we should introduce our final guest on the podcast. <laughs> our final time. guest of the podcast, we have Mrs. Truffle Bumps. <laughs> Mrs. Truffle Bumps. As a woman, <laughs> how does whatever we were just talking about make you feel? No answer, Mrs. Truffle Bumps. <laughs> I'm sorry, she's getting her microphone <laughs> steadied. <laughs> Just a couple technical difficulties. She's a little shy, camera shy. Got the cameras on here in the Troll Stomp Gaming Studios. The elaborate studios in downtown Seattle. All right, on anyway. Top of the Space Needle. <laughs> Let's Kids move back style. on to. Uh, <laughs> Let's talk about the cancellation of Young Justice and what exactly is going on with Cartoon Network and all the good cartoons that they keep letting go. So, as some of you may have noticed, uh, this is the last season of Green Lantern, the animated series. 
They ruined that show before it ever even got started because they were doing Blackest Night and they were obviously building up towards it and it was so like well paced and awesome in the beginning and I haven't even bothered with the second season because I know it's going to be over before it even goes. So. Elliot, I know you watch a lot of that series. How do you feel that it's getting canceled? Uh, pretty pissed. I think it's tight. They definitely went away from the Blackest Night and took weird turns. I personally saw him weeping (laughs) over this one day in my own arms, held tightly to my breast. He came through the door just (laughs) weeping soft. Yeah, he was sobbing. He was like, like, you won't believe this. Both Young Justice and the Green Lantern, he dropped to his knees, raised his one single (laughs) fist to the sky because he lost the other one in that boating accident last year. And and I, I held him and I said, don't you cry, little soldier. You don't weep. You be strong. For all of us. <laughs> he, he was. He was. Uh, Sucked those tears right into his mouth. <laughs> right from his eyes <laughs> into his mouth. <laughs> so yeah, Young Justice, they're canceling that, which is a tragedy. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> and they're going to be bringing a new CG animated Batman series out. Let's not even talk about the new Young Justice. The, they have the little chibi, the chibi, it's like the the original Teen Titans, but worse. More childish. It's yeah, like the corny. Teen Titans. They only Titans took the corny of... bits. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, the Teen Titans know. of Teen Titans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what it is. Now they do that with all the good shows. Tron Uprising didn't get caught in. And like the end of that show was such like, it was painful because that show was amazing up to the very end when like... Clue's army, spoilers, Clue's army is mashing into the fucking city to come take the city over with Clue there, and he's, like, with his other homeboy, and, like, it was it was getting serious. The shit was so fucking real, and then they're just like, oh, but that's the end of the show, have fun. Never seeing the end of that. <laughs> and there's, like, so much star power in that show, too. Like, yeah. Elijah Wood was <laughs> yeah, in it, you had Mandy Moore, Carl Winslow. Everybody, everybody Pee-wee was Herman. in that show. Yeah, everybody and was voice Everybody from that. the movie except for um, Clue, what's his name? Jeff Yeah, Bridges. Jeff Bridges. He was the only person that didn't come from the movie and play the same character. Tron is Tron. Yeah. Original Tron from the original Tron movie. Yeah. Like, Tron is Tron. And he's in every episode, and it's filthy. It's really well done. The only show that made it, Avatar. Yeah. Avatar will be coming back for second season. Venture Brothers is coming back oh, soon yeah. in May, I want to say. Um, so there will still be good cartoons. Ish. Ish. <laughs> I've seen one little teaser clip for that Batman CG show, the uh, Beware the Batman. And I mean, it's possible that it's going to be okay. They said they were going to like concentrate on the detective aspect of it, and that's cool. I'm, I'm into that aspect of Batman. But if they shit all on it and make it uh, Teen Titans of what Batman used to be, then I'm going to be pissed. Yeah. And not watch it. And boycott Cartoon Network forever. Segwaying from that into Batman... Uh, speaking of which, this new Batman series, uh, I don't know how to phrase this, but what is your reference to Batman when you think of, like, Batman? Do you draw him more from the comics? Do you draw Batman more from the animated series? Like, when you think of Batman, what is your canon for Batman? How he looks in my head? Yeah. Jim Lee Batman. How he acts in my head? The animated series Batman all day. Because that was... That Batman was pretty badass. Yeah, like, when I ha- like, judging any Batman property against anything, I always hold it up to the animated series. Yeah. Is that just, like, it has the tightest storyline of it, and just the way everything revolves and works Yeah, it together, was dark, like, and Batman was a badass, and it was, like, it, like, it was, it was cool. It was yeah. dark, but still cartoony, and still filthy. I mean, it really got ridiculous towards, like, the fourth season. But yeah. The first couple seasons of that show were ridiculous. like you can still go back and yeah. watch that series and just, it holds yeah. up. Yeah, the show's amazing. As oh. a woman, if that show was a person, would you suck its dick? A man <laughs> with a penis. Miss Trumpelbums. Shalinda Trumpelbums. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you got a sweet ass handle. <laughs> I'm gonna work on mine later. <laughs> Shalinda Truffle Bumps. I'm about to write that shit down somewhere on the recording. <laughs> wrote it down vocally. We're writing with our words right now. <laughs> Elliot, 
Uh, where do you draw your references from Batman from? Ellie doesn't believe in Batman anymore. No. Doesn't exist to me. Um, I don't know. From everywhere, it depends on what's like uh, the newer stuff. Um, I don't know. I like the new Batman. <laughs> I don't know why I really draw my reference on. Uh, I didn't watch as much animated series until later, so I didn't watch it as it came out. So are you talking like Brave and the Bold? Are you talking like the Christian Bale movies? Because I'll punch you right now. No, I'm not talking about the movies. I'm talking about like the animated movies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I really enjoy the Batman in uh, (coughs) any sort of team up or group yeah. environment. It's all the Justice <laughs> League movies. Just yeah, he's not trusting anyone. Being clouded the entire time. <laughs> yeah. But still getting shit taken care of. Like, yeah. the best part is when, like, Justice League Doomsday or whatever, when Superman and Wonder Woman show up at Bad ba- Big Barda's house, and they're, like, talking to her, and then all of a sudden Batman just <laughs> walks just, into the yeah. room, and he was just already just there. It's <laughs> just like, nobody even questioned it. They're like, okay, Batman was already here. Yeah, of course. <laughs> no, I think they're like, how did you get in here? And he's like, I'm fucking Batman. And I think he, like, punched her in the boob or something like that. From my recollection of the film. And it disappeared into the night with a wave of his cape. In a hail of bullet fire. Yeah. The DC animated movies have definitely been doing well. Uh, That's because they're awesome. Yeah, like the last one to come out, Dark Knight Returns. Part 2. Part 2. Yeah, it was cool. I I was good with it. I I wish they were going to do like the whole thing, but I mean, if they do the second part of that storyline in a second set of two movies, that would be the most amazing set of four movies there's ever been in all of time. Yeah. Like Definitely when it comes true. to the comic books, like, cause they're they're really well done. They're yeah. really well done. They capture the essence of the book really fucking well. I was just really hurt that I didn't get to see after that point. Yeah, I was like, well, let's all build up, and we can all be Batman's. <laughs> I was like, oh, good. Now you have to wait fucking four years for a new one of those. Uh, it's so I tragic. wish they would have just jam packed it down <laughs> so I could have seen Superman get socked up with kryptonite gloves. That would have made my life happy. Yeah, but. Yeah, you know. It's because, I mean, they it they only release two of those a year. Yeah. And I really wish they'd and those pump aren't, it that's up. That's not going to happen until, like, 2017. Yeah. Is when the next Because they already have, out. like, the next four planned out. Yeah. Yeah. What but, are the next ones that are coming out? Uh, I haven't looked up Should yet. Should I use my trusty Google? Yeah. So while you're Googling that up, uh, let's talk about some of the live action comic book inspirations that have come out in Woo! recent years. Starting with Arrow, which originally everybody was a little skeptical, but I've been watching every single episode, and Arrow is an amazing show. Yeah, they they did a terrible job promoting that because they made it sound really stupid <laughs> and made yeah. me almost hate it before it came out. Because yeah, it really looked like it was going to be the Smallville version of the Green Arrow and it was going to focus more on his love life and going around, and then every once in a while he'd get to shoot people with his bow and arrow. But no, it turned out to be a completely different show. It's got sort of like a lost feel to oh, it, because it's going back and forth. Yeah, the uh, the island are a lot of the really sweet-ass scenes in that show. Definitely. And so far it's had really good references to all the villains that have been in each episode, and they do real good throwbacks, and like you can tell where the characters are drawn from their source material. Yeah, speaking of where they're drawn, makes you really question what uh, what they're going to do with Speedy, and uh, whether they're going to advance that in a superhero fashion. They are. They better. I hope they do. Because <laughs> yeah, I don't think his little sister is poised to. Yeah, she is. She's, on, <laughs> she's reckless. She's, she's got nuts. Like she got, obviously has balls. And now she's out like trying to catch fucking purse thieves on her own and shit. Trying to become a big girl. I see it happening. Yeah, she is. Happening. She is working in the legal system now. Yeah, yeah. Like she's kind of learning, growing up a little bit. I hope that she really figures it out because she's already obviously very suspicious in the show. Yeah. Let me tell you why I wasn't on nuts initially. 
because of the dude who plays Arrow <laughs> and his wooden acting skills. Yeah. Until I realized that it plays into the story so well. <laughs> so perfect. Yeah, it's so good because he's not acting. He's just a weirdo because he came back from the island all weird and awkward and socially awkward. So he does have to act, but he's not a good actor because he was on the island for how long. He didn't have no one to critique his acting skills. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So he's just learning how to act normal again around normal people yeah. from and when he was yeah. on the island. Crixus yeah. only knew about fighting. <laughs> yeah. Crixus only taught him how to fight. He couldn't do anything else for him. <laughs> It's so crazy that they cast Crixus. As... How is Crixus's hair so long in Spartacus, <laughs> yet so short in Arrow? <laughs> and why do they keep calling him Slade Wilson in that show? He's obviously Crixus. He's yeah, wearing obviously more clothes, Crixus. but obviously Crixus. <laughs> Crixus somehow oh, became I a fair sword. I was like, I bet you do, Crixus. <laughs> he became a time traveling warrior after jumping yeah. off the Highlander mountain. Well, I, it just makes me question how Spartacus ends. He obviously gets a haircut and jumps into the future. Yeah. And lands on the Lost Spoiler. Island along with the Green Arrow. Yeah. Know? Pretty soon we have to go back. Okay, we have to go back. And like, all those guys are going to come back, you know, and then Sawyer's going to be like, what are you guys doing here? And then Sawyer's going to kill Arrow and turn into Arrow, and then in the show he'll just magically morph into Sawyer and like Southern. It'll be a good show. Season yeah. two, Arrow. <laughs> All right, using the power of the interwebs, what uh, DC animated movies have you found that are coming out? I discovered some good things. Okay, we got something called um, something called uh, um, something called. What, the nice thing that I discovered was there was something that was called. It had a name with uh, words. There were. It was called Superman. <laughs> yes. Um, there was an extension. Um. Two dots after the the letter N. Yes, Superman um, dot dot dot. <laughs> no, only two dots. Oh, no. Superman oh. Unbound. There we go. Superman, Superman Unbound. Unbound. Some new Superman movie I'm not going to watch. Is okay. Honestly, what that is. But the real the real thing I found. Okay. Justice League: The Flashpoint Paradox. Woo! Bambo Flashpoint. That's Flash going to be fucking point. tight. That's going to be very cool to me. I don't give a fuck about Superman to be honest. Is not my favorite superhero. It's hard to care about Superman sometimes, just because he's unrelatable. He has superpowers, he's invincible, he's got him on men. And he can only bust a nut into Wonder Woman. Yeah. What is there? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I feel like, and Batman can beat him up. He's a sucker. Yeah. He's all super powerful, but he got beat up by a regular dude. That guy's a sucker. I'd have murdered Batman super quick. <laughs> That's why Superman's a sucker, because he's not, like, evil. If he was evil, then he'd be cool. Yeah. But he's just kind of a chump. It's so much easier to care about Superman when it's the evil version, or like when he's not being his normal Superman self. Yeah. That is when he's at his most interesting. Hmm. I want to see something. Uh, what's popping off after that? Does it I don't know. Give I'm, trying, I'm trying to see if we can see into the future even farther. I don't know. So I've heard they've wanted to do more Flash... Well, that's probably right. Flashpoint. But yeah, Flashpoint, yeah. Yeah, that is the Flash. <laughs> well, that, yeah, but... That'll be... That and they're also, really like, the thing. Sinestro Corps. They were supposed to do something about him. That would be really cool. I yeah. wish they'd just build a, like, series of Green Lantern movies that would build into Blackest Night, because yeah. that's such a good comic book series. Blackest like Night that. would be an amazing... Yeah. What are some of your favorite, like, giant arc comics that have come out so far? Like in just the well, past. since the great crisis of comic book crises, yes, where all that comic books do anymore is create crisis yes. after crisis. What are the last? The, universe. the good, last one that I thoroughly enjoyed was Civil War. I really, really love that. And then no, because I mean, Blackest Night came out right after that. But yeah, <laughs> it, there was that was DC Marvel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's, uh, those are my last two that I really enjoyed. I thought a lot of them after that get really like convoluted and it's just like let's bring this guy back to life then murder this guy and then everything will be really scared and then like let's have this guy fight this guy it's just all an excuse to have somebody fight somebody but it's pretty cool like some yeah. of the, I like the standalone stories a lot better than the crisis events yeah well I mean like you had fear itself you had I wasn't really fear, a fan yeah of fear, fear itself, itself. <laughs> I, I tried it it was. It was. It was the comic the art was really nice yeah the art was really nice but I mean the art's really nice in a lot of comics but I just think a lot of it, when it becomes just to sell comics, then 
Avengers vs. X Men. Avengers vs. X Men was actually pretty tight. Like there was some really cool moments to that that I've been waiting because I've been an X Men fan for a long time. So there's a lot of things that they just never done with the X Men that I've been waiting on them to do, like mm. make Cyclops not a fucking pussy anymore. Yeah. Because I had this huge image of him when I was like 10 years old, and the original X Men cartoon was on, and Cyclops was like, "I'm a fucking badass. Uh, uh, look how fucking yoked I am." <laughs> and then like all the comics were all like, he was this like this sniveling bitch. And I was like, what happened to you, man? <laughs> Gene! Yeah. Gene! Yeah. What, what Gene! Happened to you? Where's Gene? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's painful. It hurts. It hurts my heart and my soul. All of it. He could have been such a badass, but now he's kind of a badass. Because yeah. he's a bad guy. That's he killed his father. Days. That's what Finally, takes that's what he did. That's, that's what, what takes set him apart. Days. You gotta, like, make him evil if you want him to not be a pussy. It's like, you can be a pussy or you're evil. Yeah. Because they want all the characters to be so relatable now. Like, the only character that's still, like, kind of a mystique about him is Batman. Because it's still like, that guy's fucking Batman, he's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> like, just don't even bother, that's fucking Batman. But everyone else is like, Ooh, I'm so relatable and human. I have so many human problems. Look at my regular life. <laughs> I'm not huge into that aspect of comic books. More than the 90s, watch a bunch of things explode. It's like action movies of comics. That's what the yeah. 90s was. All of was like, hey, you, I have this power. Boom. Oh, yeah, well, I have this power that's going to this. Bow. And then it was like, platoon was the next two pages. You know what I'm saying? Like, with a big ass explosion and all the stuff happening. Like, that's what I'm about. I yeah, like just... words. Reading. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What else do you want us to talk about, Tyler? Uh, let's One, talk two, about four. the direction of the Marvel movies and how you feel it's gone. Marvel Phase 1 has just been completed with the achievement of the Avengers movie. The most recent Marvel film that I just saw was The Red Dawn, in which Thor died. <laughs> and <laughs> I found it to be mildly un- unbelievable. <laughs> Because Thor wouldn't go out like that, and he never once called upon his hammer with the weird name that I can't pronounce. Mjolnir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not Mjolnir. Swedish or whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> they could have just given it a name like, Hammer! <laughs> Make him do the hammer dance when it comes. You can't touch this! <laughs> That's what he should have said to, like, the Hulk when they were on the air carrier. And then, like, he tried to pick up the hammer, and he's like, You can't touch this! <laughs> and then, like, flew over and grabbed the hammer and knocked him the fuck out. That would have been pretty sweet. I hope that happens in the second movie, maybe. Yeah. You try again, someone else will try. And they'll pull, pull, you can't touch this, and then just hammer dance on them. In the well, okay, suit. so you already know phase one. Phase two is now Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, not excited for that. <laughs> yeah, that uh, it just sounds worse and worse. You got Thor 2, which is going to show all I'm, I'm the other nine Thor realms. Two. I really like Thor. Yeah. I, I hear I, a lot I of haters like who didn't like yeah. it, but I went and saw the Marvel movie Marathon. Yeah. when uh, It's going to be about, the out. villain is going to be that dark elf dude. The like oh, one with the half yeah. face, yeah. Oh okay. fuck yeah! Like that's that's gonna be amazing. Like yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna show tough. all the other realms. It's gonna be a dope ass mm-hmm. movie. Uh, yeah, Captain America: Winter Soldier. Well, that's, that's gonna be dope. Yeah, too. that's gonna be yeah. amazing. Like the first Captain America was so Are they doing good. Winter Soldier, like the one Bucky, as in Bucky Whoa, Winter Soldier. Yeah, cool. it's gonna be all about how Bucky comes back, and so cool. Captain America is gonna have Bucky to fight. Cool, filthy. Yeah, that's gonna be really fucking cool. They're gonna uh, so. Who else? Iron Man 3, as we all know. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like it's going to be darker. But my thing about the Iron Man movies is I wasn't excited for any of them and then was highly impressed with all of them. Yes. Like, so, yeah. I, so I, I, I am again impressed thing. with the thing, but I'm sure I'll go see it and be like, ooh! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that the Mandarin's in it. I'm nervous to see what they do with the Iron Patriot. Yeah. I, I already know they've ruined it because yeah. War Machine is in the Iron Patriot suit. It's just going to be the military made him Iron Patriot. Someone's going to take it over and he's going to turn evil because someone's in control of the suit. It's like, I wish they did Norman Osborn. That would yeah. be cool. But I mean, I think someone else owns Spider-Man right now. Sony. Yeah, Sony so definitely they does. they probably own Norman Osborn because they probably own the Green Goblin, you know, so. Yeah. I mean, I understand trying to go around it and going for that Iron Patriot suit. I can't lie, it looks super fucking nice. Yeah. <laughs> like, it looks yeah. cool. But so all of that is going to lead up to Phase 2, which is Avengers versus Thanos. Which is going to be amazing. It's the Avengers on a cosmic level. And then after that is Phase 3. Which hopefully they do a Nova movie. There's going to be an Ant-Man movie, a Doctor Strange movie, 
Okay, that will be fun. Yeah, awesome. they need Did to you bring see in the animated version. Doctor Strange movie. Yes, that one was Don't. highly underrated. That yeah. movie was really yeah. fresh and that made one was me kind really of excited good. for a live action Doctor Strange, especially with the way they've been doing the Marvel movies lately. They put yeah. love into those fucking movies. But there's talks about Iron Fist. I don't know about that, but for oh, Phase man, Three, the Avengers movie. Three movie Iron would be Fist. World War Hulk. Ooh, that Ooh. would be good. So Ooh, at so that they, yeah, they're going to start introducing the members of the Illuminati certain points. All they need is another Fantastic Four movie. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, bring back Fantastic Four. Just that make it also, not below. Yeah, because yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, the if they do that, they can get Namor out of the way. Be. So you have... I, no, I'm saying, like, Namor, you have to introduce Namor. I feel like Namor. be a fucking side character, though. I do well, not no, want that's what I'm Namor saying, though. Like, <laughs> ma- yeah, that's why he Namor be, will be a be side a, character yeah, in a Fantastic Four movie. He could be in the Fantastic Four movie. Yeah, exactly. He could be the bad guy in the Fantastic Four movie. movie. Yeah. Yeah. And that would be a sick Fantastic Four movie, too. That would be perfect. And then that way you get both of those characters introduced. Then you have the Doctor Strange movie to get him introduced. Professor X doesn't have to be in it because he wasn't involved in the decision anyway. He was gone at the time. They need to make an Inhumans movie. Yeah, that would introduce be the Inhumans. Oh, that would be dope. Yeah, and then you have all Black the members Hulk. of the Illuminati. Yeah, the yeah. Illuminati. Then they can make the decision to send Hulk into space in Hulk three or Hulk two, however. In Hulk three. Yeah, it would be Hulk three. But I mean, they'll probably call it Hulk two. Yeah, because the first one blew ass. Yeah. yeah. So send Hulk into space. I like Avengers to three is Hulk coming back to Earth and Ooh. fucking everything yeah. up and Ooh. just everyone trying Ooh. to stop the Hulk. Imagine the Hulkbuster armor finally. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that would be amazing to see in all its reality slash CG like, glory. <laughs> Marvel has super high hopes, but I mean, well, these movies are gonna do yeah, well. They've if, already if they shown the that if they the just plot the course, not below, I will go watch it. Yeah, I mean, I'm probably gonna watch it regardless. Oh, yeah. Honestly, just with I'll the see. quality of movies they've been yeah. putting out, I will trust them not to let me down. But if they do, I'll be thoroughly upset. But not really because it wouldn't be that surprising. Yeah, I mean, so far spoilers, I've just heard that everybody dies. But you, why? I think you need him. You do, so they're gonna work something out. But I've just heard like there's a lot of death in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. I'm cool with that. If they kill most of them and they only keep the ones they need for yeah. the Thanos, it'll fight, just be I'm like totally introducing characters that. and then like murder. murdering them all. All yeah. the stupid ones. Just kill the raccoon. That's all that matters, dude. Everybody loves the raccoon. I don't yeah. love the raccoon. <laughs> Rocket Raccoon. Rocket Raccoon blows Shouts asses. Shouts out to Rocket Raccoon. No. That's Raccoon why, that's why he <laughs> should die, because everybody loves him, and it'll be weird to Nobody loves see him. him jumping around. Nobody loves him. Furries love him, maybe. In a weird pedophile kind of way. Because <laughs> he's like a little, like, regular rodent, not like a man, an anthropomorphic man raccoon. So they wouldn't want to bang him. They'd just be like, it'd be pedophile he's a little... He's a little Stupid ass rocket raccoon and getting <laughs> pedophilia. Yeah. From the furries. Alright, no so. Hate on the bronies. <laughs> the furries. All love. Video games and Don't comic books. Marvel. They've only really got. Mar- what does Dark Horse do anymore? Let's talk about that. Dark Horse. Where did they okay. go? No, they have comics. I just don't read them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dark Horse has like. Gears of War and yeah, shit that's like why that. I don't yeah. yeah. <laughs> they handle. No, they a lot had some weird. Comics. I was in the comic shop the other day and I saw a Dark Horse comic that was just fucking strange. I know they do the Django Unchained comic, which is just <laughs> the comic telling of the movie exactly. Okay. But it's awesome because if you think about it, this is the second time that they've animated Samuel L. Jackson because they also did a Snakes on a Plane comic movie, like, <laughs> a movie comic. So ta da, double, and he's in the Marvel universe as we all know. As Batman. <laughs> Obviously. Samuel Jackson is Batman? Next Batman? <laughs> who should play Batman next? Uh, That's a real question. Yeah. You know who I thought of? Have you guys seen Comedy Bang Bang? I don't know this dude's name, but there was this guy on one episode of that. That's who should do it. <laughs> oh, John Hamm. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. John Hamm would John Hamm probably would be, be a, a cold Batman. Batman. Badass Batman. He'd be a cold... I seen him and I was just thinking about it when I was watching the episode. I, was, I don't know why. I think that's kind of weird maybe, but <laughs> I was like, that gotta be a cold fucking Batman. I think he'd be cool because he's been in like serious roles and I've seen Batman. him Yeah, and I'm seeing, I'm yeah. seeing him where he's just like, He'd be a boss. Dude. Yeah, he'd be yeah. really cool. He could pull the Bruce Wayne off. He could pull the Batman he'd pull off. off as the long Bruce as Wayne he does super it, well. As long as he doesn't give it the fucking Batman voice, he'd be a swaggy ass. He doesn't get rah, 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 yeah. just like just harsh the tone a little bit. Doesn't harsh the tone, just like 
Just don't talk, talk normal. normal. Just talk <laughs> to fucking say it. And that's what Batman does. He don't give a fuck. <laughs> say something. He'll probably come and beat you to death before you have the chance to tell well, him. Well, I mean, just, okay, look at fucking Kevin Conroy. Yeah. That, just make it like that. <laughs> just, they should, what they should do is get him to play him and then overdub Batman's voice. Like, yes. have Kevin Conroy come and just overdub the entire film when he's Batman, yeah. but not when he's Bruce Wayne. That would be, I, I, I'd, I'd believe, that. I'd believe, yeah. I'd be like, whoa, he's Batman all of a sudden. They could put him in a fucking plastic mech suit and I would believe that he was Batman. Like, he wouldn't even have to be wearing, he could be wearing a Superman suit and that voice could come out and he'd be like, I'm Batman. And I'd be like, I fucking believe it. Like, I knew Batman was finally going to do a movie someday. They need to record that before that guy dies. We need to get tons and tons of it. It's like yeah. 20 to 30 movies and then you can just get him to say every word in the dictionary and then we can just cut it all together, put different inflections on some words and then he's, I think we have to go over here, Robin. <laughs> It'd be good, man. That'd be crazy. It'd be better than Kristen Bell's Batman voice. Definitely. Yeah. I'm so glad the Nolan universe is over. Yeah, is he done with those? Is he done ruining my favorite? That was that, the last one with Bane rises. So he's not yes. making he's not making he, one with uh, no. he Jennifer is. Love Hewitt as Batman next. <laughs> What is that guy's name? Joseph Gordon yeah. Levitt. <laughs> there we go. It Dude, is Joseph Gordon Levitt's tight. No, he's I... hella filthy. He's hella filthy, but I'm not into him. Being I would Batman watch him and as his Nightwing. first name be Robin. <laughs> I would if his first name wasn't Robin. Yeah. AKA Chumpley McChumperson. Like, what the fuck is that about? I'd watch him as Batman Beyond as well. Yeah, that Terry would be McGinnis. Sick. Yeah, if he was a Terry <laughs> McGinnis and they had Kevin Conroy play. Yeah, Batman is old man Batman. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> oh man, that movie would be filthy. In I feel like that's age. the direction they should have gone with. with that's the next where they need fucking... to go now. Next, no, for the next Arkham like city game. If they were in oh Arkham God, World, it would have were... been Batman Beyond, and it would have had just throwback scenes of like old ass Batman. Yeah, like he had to learn some sort of time travel <laughs> thing. He got all sorts of crazy villains. Well, no, it wouldn't even have to be that. No, it no, just but like... I'm saying, you know how they tied in the old school Joker on it? I think it do something yeah. the same way. Like, I'm not talking like really a time traveling villain or anything, yeah. but they, I mean, they're smarter than me. I don't write fucking yeah. anything, you know? Well, I write lots of It would of just things. be like, <laughs> it would just show you certain sequences as Batman that led up to why it had the influence yeah, that yeah. affected the future. So, like, you'd have to play through with yeah, Batman. Yeah, like a villain that his story is so deeply tied. No, they could do like a new hush. hush. Oh my god, <laughs> that would be crazy. Yeah, oh, that would be crazy. Because they already set up Hush with Arkham yeah. City. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that would be crazy. It's like Hush flashbacks with fucking crazy Batman Beyond shit. Because you wear the Batman Beyond skin. Yeah, exactly. And so you'd be Terry McGinnis flying around the fucking oh, city. Oh, man, that would be sick. And they could have it like all you all flying to like different high rises yeah. and shit. Like there is no ground level. That would be awesome. Like the Jetsons, but Batman. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, like, that game would work so well. Like, just keep Arkham City as the standard for superhero games. Yes. Just... But add in different stuff, like different yeah. elements. Instead of gadgets, powers. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's all it Like, would I really wish they would come out with a really good Green Lantern game. Because... There's never been one? There's been one, but it's very God of War style. And, like, you just pop what out... Was that? Uh, it came out right around the movie. I'm trying to play that. Is, it is, it it. The, is it for the, the film? Yeah. Oh, is it based on Ryan Reynolds? Uh, yeah, it's based is on... Is he talking it at all? Yeah. No, no not, not Ryan Reynolds, okay. but some, some dude... Some dude who's trying to be Ryan yeah. Reynolds? <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's me, Ryan Reynolds! <laughs> That's my Ryan Reynolds voice. Yeah. I'm super yoked, though. Imagine me super yoked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys, I'm sarcastic, but funny! <laughs> And it's like, I'm a... That's a yeah. I'm I don't want to be a Green Lantern. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and be... My name is Hal Jordan. <laughs> He'd have been a super cool Deadpool if they hadn't blown it. Hell yeah. hard. Yeah. Deadpool game is still coming out, but nothing has been shown for it. I don't give a fuck about that game. I'm not a huge Deadpool fan. He talks too much <laughs> about stupid shit that I don't fucking understand that's or care a, about. That's his- Thing. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm saying I, I don't. I, I don't dig his whole shtick. So I guess I'm, I really love how he looks. He's a really cool looking hero, and he's a badass when it comes to fighting and stuff. Yeah, I really love how they drop him into X Force, and then he's like just comic relief every once in a while, and it's not just like I just can't read just Deadpool comics where you really have to sit and just 
some dude was just like, oh, what next? Uh, and then he poops, and then he thinks about poop, and then, yeah, like, his head's off, and then he's rolling, and then he's shooting a dude, and then, like, it's, there's it's just awesome Deadpool moments. talking with himself and himself about himself, about yeah. poop, for the next, like, three pages. Until something super fresh happens. I'd rather just skip yeah. through, look at the cool parts, and then just ignore the part. That's what I always do when I'm reading those comics. I'm like, okay, okay, he's talking to himself, he's probably saying a lot of things, and it's like, oh, something important related to the story. Okay. And it's like, oh, okay, nothing, 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 nothing. Explosions. <laughs> guns. Murder. <laughs> Hella cool. Yeah. But I mean, you know. Yeah, that definitely works for me. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What, what you gonna, gonna do? do? What, what you gonna, gonna do? do? What you gonna do? I'm the grandfather of rap. <laughs> oh, I'm, I've been hipping in the hoppins and we swept our houses and dirt on the floor. <laughs> also comic book related. I want a special suit. <laughs> Today to wear the, the new, new Ninja, Ninja Turtles today. cartoon. That's not comic book related. There's yeah, his Ninja Turtle one is ever. ever. Shut ever. up, Alex. Never I can see one. it right behind you. <laughs> you get off my back. <laughs> I've never seen. They're it doing life. amazing things. With I don't the even new know what Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Turtle is. Yeah, the new Ninja Turtles is. I've never seen it. Great. I don't condone <laughs> it, and I don't like Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Shut up, Michelangelo. I go on the record <laughs> saying that I dislike all things that are involved. With Power Rangers and Ninja Turtles, and you're a dirty, dirty ninjas. liar. <laughs> I don't like any of it. That's why you pre-order Naruto Ninja Storm Part. Oh 3. yeah, I paid it off all the way. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picking that up at midnight, open or not. <laughs> leave me know this is bitch. I pay. I'll leave my receipt on the fucking counter. I want it. You're gonna break in, ring yourself up. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll go to one of their houses, I'll follow them home the night before, <laughs> go to their house like their manager, kidnap them in the middle of the night, knife point, this big ass filet knife from the fish market. I'm like, yo, you need to take me in right now. Naruto's at your store in it. <laughs> well, we, we got it in at 12.15, sir, but we, we, we don't open until 8 o'clock. I'm like, bitch, get in the car. Bring the keys. We're, I gotta play some Naruto. You know how deep that shit goes? All the way into the fourth grade ninja war. <laughs> Yeah. And back and forth betwixt time and then. <laughs> There's so crazy. much stuff popping up in that game. I'm. Uh, that and the JoJo game wait. are the most awaited games of this year. Which game? JoJo. Yeah. JoJo. JoJo. Chisa. Mura 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 mura. Chisa kun. Nice job, Chisa kun. Nice job, Chisa kun. Uh, I. JoJo, I cannot recommend that show any, like highly enough. It's so crazy. It's comedy. And it's action comedy and, and action and posing. So much posing in the ripple. I'm posing right now. <laughs> no, that was a posing move. I'm not posing. I was posing. Get it. It's like, is that a pun? That is a pun. Are we puns? You're pun As a woman. Do you feel that puns are necessary for the world, or do you feel that shirts are necessary more so throughout the comic book world in women? Women in comic books, how do you feel about that as a woman? Being a woman... <laughs> anyway, Emerald City Comic Con is next weekend. Fuck We're all yeah. attending. I'm attending twice. How many days are you going, Alex? Two. Two. I'm giving the other day to my brother. Nice. So my brother can go and get some things signed and walk around. I personally just want to walk around and look into every single black book of every artist and just stare at this shit and drool at it. And if it's comic book artist that I know, I want to be like, I really appreciate your art. And then I want to walk away before I look like a weirdo because I'm still just standing there. Because <laughs> I did that last year or the year before that and it was weird. What, you but I was just looking too at long? still. I was like, yo, I really appreciate what you do. And I was just chilling there still, just looking at the shit. But I stayed there for like, 45 minutes, and I could tell by the end, I looked up, and he was just like, <laughs> I was like, oh, my bad, later. <laughs> I was like, I was, but I was super blazed. What are you going to do? Do you know any uh, artists that are going to be there that you're looking forward to? Are everybody. You just gonna... Everybody. I didn't even bother looking. I'm just going to stumble around. I got two days to walk around and just kind of figure it out. I know that my girl, Scully's going to be there, Jillian Anderson. Yeah. I'm going to try to <laughs> finger finger once and smell my fingers afterwards, and then I could die happy. Or... Get something signed, like my breasts. 
or yeah. maybe just like uh, smell her ankles <laughs> or something really creepy. I'm trying to think of something creepy that she'll remember for the rest of her life like I will, our meeting. I don't know. I mean, she's, <laughs> she's scully. How much shit do you think someone's already done yeah, yeah, <laughs> that, for you to be memorable? I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to dress up like her <laughs> and walk up and kiss her directly on the mouth and be like, marry me. It's okay in this state. It's totally fucking legal. I have an ounce of weed in the car and that's my fucking dowry. Pay it to your father. Tell him I love him too and we'll be happy forever together. We'll move to India together and build a house. And then we'll just live there and make hella babies. Hella little babies. I'll name them all Mulder. Jean-Luc Picard will also be there. <laughs> Maybe I could get him to make Jillian Anderson instead and make far greater babies than I would. <laughs> You're Patrick Stewart and Sir Jillian Anderson. Jean-Luc Picard to you, actually. I hope he'll knight me. I'm going to ask him to knight me. I'm going to bring a sword and hopefully he'll knight me. I'm going to bring a plastic sword in and just like, please knight me. I'm going to get him to sign my back. With a like a, a cattle prod or something, right above your Ninja forever, Turtle so statue. Never go away. Yeah, right above the Ninja Turtle statue or next to it. Maybe I'll just get him. I'll just ask him if he'll put paint on his face and just <laughs> onto my back. <laughs> just face a face print, a face print across my back. Just place it hella delicately against it and press it against my back skin, and then just come against it, and that'll be pretty much the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> I'm gonna maybe buy a T-shirt or two also. So, yeah, that's my plan. Maybe a poster. Actually, I like con drawings. Maybe I'll get a con sketch. I like that when they do it. Like, I like I like to ask them to do weird things. Yeah. Like weird con sketches. Like shit they don't draw. Yeah, those are the best. Yeah. It's like, hey, draw Darkwing Duck for me. Yeah, I'm like, draw me like eating a sandwich, but then like I'm slipping at the same time. <laughs> draw like a train crashing into like a infant, like a, a nursery school or something, because there's like no tracks and it's just running away. <laughs> draw two clouds and they're just like kiss everywhere on all the good parts. <laughs> Adam West is also going to be there. Oh, yeah, dude. I just want to go and give really... it away. You're not worthy. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be there on Sunday. I, I feel like we should just hook it up as he walks by. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if he feels weird or if I feel weird. Not at all. People around me feel weird later. Adam I'll West is hit him with the weird, original worthy. Batman. Yeah. And He's anyone... also the mayor and family guy. Yeah. And that is fucking hilarious. Like, he's super <laughs> funny, dude. Adam West is just so... Yeah, all I can say is we're not worthy when I see. Yeah, I was like, we're not worthy. Just don't look directly at me, please. Look elsewhere. <laughs> Your eyes, if they gaze upon me, I'll set a flame. Batman, no, please don't. The Grey Ghost, <laughs> just stop it, Grey Ghost. Yeah, Batman, don't hurt me. I'm sorry, <laughs> but he would give you a power too. I'm gonna bring a thing that says "pow" and try to take a picture of him punching me. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, that's such a good idea. I'm gonna make a thing that says "pow" tomorrow. You got to do that. Yeah, and we'll we can all like, just take turns of Adam yeah, West powing us. <laughs> you guys can make your own. I'm only using mine. <laughs> fuck you. Okay, fine. I want my pal. Yeah, I want, I want my pal to be meaningful and singular. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna make a zonk then. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I used to have this book that was all like it was all about the old Batman show, and there was like literally a chapter in the book. It was all the things that they popped up there, <laughs> and then right after that, there was a chapter of all the holy this and that. The best one I found in the Robin's holy... going to be there too. Oh, Bird Ward. Bird Ward. Yeah. yeah, the original Robin's going to yes. be there too. The best one there ever was was Holy Priceless Collection of Arustian Snoods, <laughs> Batman. You know what I'm saying? Uh, whatever the fuck that is. Uh, but it was in there. I remember I seen that. And I was like 12 years old. I was like, what the fuck is a snood? <laughs> <laughs> I used to watch snood. so much of the Adam West Batman yeah, as a kid growing up. Like, so good. I would come home from school and just like watch Adam West on FX, and just those were the Batman adventures at night. And then during the morning, it was the Batman the animated series. Yeah, it was like the good Batman. To yeah. me, the real live action one was the cartoony one. Yeah, <laughs> it's like that was the cartoon Batman, and the real life Batman was the animated <laughs> yeah, series yeah. Batman. <laughs> That was what Batman really did, but they couldn't film all that because, you know, it's illegal and stuff, and he yeah. wasn't having them coming in his cave and That's shit. That's why Batman had to blow up sharks with shark repellent yeah. Yeah, and that. run around and drink tainted orange juice and be dancing in nightclubs and run around. He was doing from, it so he was. Hard. he was living Batman. Those two-part episodes where it just be like, will Batman escape from the terrible <laughs> yeah. terror of the Joker? Find out next time. Same bat time, same, same bat, bat channel. channel. <laughs> yeah, dude. 
I said that like four reps. <laughs> same bad time, same bad channel. That's the best catchphrase there ever was, because it was a bad time and a bad channel. But See, the thing channel. about that is like, I feel watching all of that Adam West Batman, I have a deeper appreciation for like the Schumacher movies of Batman, like Batman Forever and Batman Returns. Yeah. Because those movies Hell just, yeah. it seems like they're just an homage to the Adam West yeah. era of Batman. Because it's just like, it's not dark like the Tim Burton ones. It's just super flashy and zip, pow, like, to yeah. it. It's just like, that's how those movies feel. Arnold Schwarzenegger killed that role. Yeah, like... <laughs> to this day, that is my favorite role he ever played in anything, even <laughs> Governor. Yeah. Like, he was definitely, you know, a villain as the Governor. <laughs> as the governor of California yeah, he was the ultimate villain yeah I'm saying I don't know how they did that let Mr. Freeze put on some makeup and become, you know the governor of California it was like, all oh. some giant ploy and... I'm saying I don't know where Batman was because Christian Bale killed him and replaced him with whatever that was and I'll be the one to say it because Heath Ledger killed the Joker too in a bad way because it was whack as fuck and Homeless Joker is a loser. <laughs> you didn't like Homeless Joker? No. Nope. And I'm the only person I know. I think I might be the only person in the world. I think you may be the it's only person. It's a lonely... But everybody else is a pussy. So when the Heath Ledger died. It has, not has nothing to do death. with that. <laughs> Before he died, I even thought it was an amazing Joker. Alright, fair enough. I still did not appreciate it. I thought it was cool. But that was definitely my least favorite of... All of those movies. It just, like, he was a more crazy... (laughs) It was more of like a... If the Joker was to exist in the real world, like... No. It just felt natural. Why? Why is the Joker some crazy homeless guy? The Joker's a boss. Like, he's... he's, Yeah, like... Just because it's the real world doesn't mean he has to be some I'm saying, like, the Joker has so many different personalities. Like, he can come back and then be that... Boss guy? No, he can't. Yes, he Heath can. Heath Ledger's dead, bro. Yeah, okay. Heath Ledger's dead, <laughs> not the Joker. And they killed him. They killed him. <laughs> they did not kill him. They didn't kill the Joker. No, they movie? didn't kill the Joker. I only seen it one movie. time, and I thought it was terrible, so I decided I'd never watch it again. Yeah, they they, they didn't killed kill Two Face. Yes, they did. After having Two Face in it for five minutes, he fell super down cool. really hard and yeah. got hurt. He fell <laughs> off of a barn, like a one-story barn. I was like, oh, it's too much for me. <laughs> I, li- I lived through this big ass explosion, <laughs> but I fell off this barn and now I'm super hurt and dead. Oh, I can't take it anymore. Bitch ass Aaron Eckhart <laughs> killing that role super hard and then looking all extra fresh and then dying after two minutes. That was oh, I was such so a mad. waste. Yeah, I was so upset because Two Face is my favorite yeah. Batman villain. Like, no, far. it's because him and, and like Harvey Dent and, Bat- and Bruce Wayne start out as friends. Yeah, and that's yeah. why it's friends, super cool. and that's where it comes from. And then like all of a sudden, Batman loses a friend because it's like it's his fault. He turns into Two Face. It's everyone's fault, man. It's your fault. It's my fault. <laughs> it's all it's my Aaron fault. Eckhart's fault. It's Christopher Nolan's fault. I actually go back to making terrible whatever movies he made before that. What movies he did he make that were amazing? Movies. What has he made? That's he amazing. made Inception. That movie was not that great. It was, it was pretty cool. He made... <laughs> <laughs> he made Shutter Island. <laughs> Shutter Island was bad. <laughs> See, who let that guy be in charge of Batman? Who put that guy... They're like, let's give this dude Batman. Inception? Really? That was what did it? Yeah. No, because cool. he made Inception after the yeah. first Batman. What <laughs> an <Yeah. laughs> asshole. Who put him in charge of Batman? What did he make? Ah... <sighs> I don't know. He came out with something that people liked. What an asshole. I hope he made something. It's and done if he did, now. I'm sorry. It is done now. Which is, which is good. DC's someone else next live action out. movie, apparently, they're going to start with their Avengers and then work backwards. Yeah, yeah. So they're going well, to start next, with the Justice movie League movie. is definitely movie. Superman. Yeah, the next one's Well, Superman. okay, they're Superman, but who after that... Superman? The guy who did Batman? He's not directing it. He's a producer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm cool with he's that. He's an executive producer. He can watch the movie and be like, yeah, I paid for that. Good yeah, job. I good job. I definitely paid for that. I hope it's good. I have, I have high hopes, even though I'm not a huge Superman fan. 
It just like I don't know how that cool. movie is gonna be though. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what they could possibly do with the, the pre- Superman movie. That's previous. my thing. I don't know how to make a Superman well, movie entertaining. It will Superman's be on a level where Superman gets to unload. He will be against a world threat sort of thing. So it's not Superman versus humans where he has. Well, to, then like, that will be. I think it has like a possibility to be tight if they show how powerful Superman is, and it can be a really fucking cool movie. Yeah. But yeah. if they hold it back, like every other movie is ever. Okay, done. Superman Returns is just Superman. Fives around and feels bad about things. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. That, that one time he got shot in the eye with a minigun and that was tight. Yeah. Like, that that was the one cool scene in that whole thing, but it was also, like, kind of short and not really satisfying except for that one point where he got hit in the eye with a minigun. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's Superman for you. Ta-da, Superman. I'm Superman. <laughs> I fly around the world to take people as a woman. When Superman, if Superman came up to you, okay, directly, as a woman, and woman to woman asked you how you felt about women in comic books, what would you say to Superman? Superman as a woman. As a woman. <laughs> what would you Asking say? You as Superman a as a woman, woman with superpowers comes to you. A regular woman. No superpowers. <laughs> <laughs> what would you rate that? <laughs> <laughs> on a scale of one to five, um, on the Geiger rectometer, how many Richter Geigers would you give it? All right, well that just about does it for. No, hold on, hold on. We have hella music. I'm about to play. <laughs> no, I'm about to play a song for Tyler. <laughs> Tyler That's was fine. telling me earlier in the cast what he wanted. He wanted to do was talk about women's rights and <laughs> needs. In comic books. In comic books and their wants. And our guest here hasn't said a single word. Speaking to women's rights in comic books, we went through all the trouble to bring a woman out to the troll cast. Yeah, if you, could, if you could sum it up all into one word, what would that word be? How do you feel women in comic books as a woman are treated in comic books? For women. For women. Just one word that sums it all up for you. Just one word. How you feel. <laughs> you want that was women three to words, be left and I'm alone. looking for one word. Do you want the women to be left alone, like out of comic books, or one or? Are the skirts not short enough? Are there too many high heels? Do you think they have the right textures to their outfits? <laughs> Is the... there too much cleavage? Is there too little cleavage? I like the cleavage. <laughs> I do too. Do you like it when uh, a girl character is made of, like, some sort of plasmic energy? Fire, maybe? Ice? Water? Do you guys remember Fathom back in the day? I do remember Ooh, Fathom. She, she was, was made sexy. of some bubbles. I used to want to marry her when I was younger, and then I found out that comic books weren't real. That was uh, Fathom devastating. Isn't yeah, but was, then Jessica Alba appeared, and she was almost the same character. I'm saying that was definitely the worst day of high school for me. So... All right, wrapping up episode 11, Wait, part one. Wait, before we do that, Elliot had that story he wanted to tell. <laughs> oh. All right, was join us word? next wait, week. Wait, wait, let's try to get the one word that... <laughs> join us next week when wait, we Tyler. give our post-Emerald uh, City Comic Con wrap-up. Wait, Tyler. Yeah, what, Lex Lingo? Let's try, um... Let's name out our favorite. Our favorite... Yeah. Comic book? Def- uh, sure, <laughs> yeah, whatever. All right. W- what's yours, Lex Linga? Yes. What's your <laughs> favorite comic book? Um, I prefer uh, hardback. Hardback comics? Do you f- Elliot, what is your favorite? I'd have to go with the uh, trade. Uh, then I'll trade. be that guy who goes with single issues. I once traded a Pokemon card. I once traded a Pokemon I card too. That. Yeah. Goodbye, All right, everybody. This is Fat Pile 124 <laughs> signing out. Wait, wait, wait. Are you at least going to say goodbye? Just say it. Just make it sexy, though. <laughs> this is our talented guest signing us off to say goodbye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. All right, I'd like to thank Goodbye. my special guest, Lex Lingo. You can check him out. Fuck yourself. Um, I take a DC 9-volt. <laughs> Lex Lingo. 
Who is Lex Lingo? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, go to my, go to my, uh, uh, that, uh, thing where you can download music. It's called lexlingo.bandcamp.com. Or go hit me up on Facebook, you know, at facebook.com slash who is Lex Lingo. I'm also on SoundCloud slash Lex Lingo. Go on to anything where you find music, uh, amazing things such as YouTube. Just type in Lex Lingo. Alright, uh, check out Joe's Mom Gaming. Also, hey, check hey, out, check out, uh, Elliot's, Elliot's channel. Um, check out EO Fudge. Yeah, EO Fudge. Yeah, EO Fudge on YouTube. Um, Fudge cookies on us, uh, cookies.com, uh, Keith the Realms, uh, no breaks.net. So, Alright, here's a fudge game.